Quizio. My name is Mirsa. I live in Wisconsin where it's very cold outside right now. I am the mother of three beautiful teenage daughters and I've been married for about four years to a wonderful man of God. I've been walking in an intimate relationship with God for about 10 years now. I gave my life to the Lord when I was 28, so I'm 38 years old now. Um, and I lived on my own since I was 14, 15 years old. I made a mess out of my life. I believed in God. I just didn't know how to have a relationship with Him. Uh, when I was 28 years old, I was addicted to marijuana for about 15 years. I cried out to God, I know you're real, make yourself real in just a stream of tears. And he sent someone the next day to invite me to a house church. Um, and from that day, I've never been the same. He broke off that addiction to marijuana. He's given me many dreams. He's shown me my purpose and the calling of my life. Um, he's shown me so many wonderful, beautiful things. He's made himself so real in my life. Um, and my prayer is that he would make himself so real in your life too. Just cry out to him. He's so faithful. He's so near. Um, I want to share scripture with you that I believe he put on my heart. And it's found in Second Chronicles chapter 16, verse 9. And it says that the eyes of the Lord run to and fro throughout the whole earth. Um, seeking those whose hearts are loyal towards him to show himself strong on their behalf. Um, and another thing that I wanted to share with you is found in a devotional. I read it, but I've been praying for the Lord to um, put something on my heart for you. Um, and it says that nothing is impossible with God. The God we serve is big, strong, and mighty. He made this world. He keeps it all together. And he has created each one of us to play a unique part in his redemption story. This, this big God is not far off and distant, but ever-present, loving, and compassionate he has the ability to solve any problem, to heal any memory, to reconcile any relationship, to forgive any sin, to stretch any budget, to feed every mouth, to clothe every body, to free any captive, to break any habit, yes, to cure any disease. Nothing is irredeemable with God. He is able to work all things together for good. The truth is, is there is simply nothing our God cannot do. If you truly believe that God has the power to create and sustain the universe, then surely there is nothing in your life that is beyond his power to mend, heal, or restore. And it's so true. I mean, God healed me from asthma when I gave my life to the Lord. I was on machines on asthma. I could hardly breathe. Day and night, I was on this machine. And I remember lifting my hands and saying, Thank you, Jesus. And I felt this hand go like this to my chest and just take it out. And then my lungs opened up and I could breathe. And that's been about 10 years ago when I gave my life to the Lord. The list goes on and on. How he's multiplied food. How he's been so supernatural and amazing in our lives. So I want to encourage you to trust the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. and all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your paths. Your whole destiny, everything that you are is in him. There are so many things that he's revealed to me that I would have never known unless I had given my life to the Lord. My mom dedicated me to the Lord when I was when I was newborn. She never told me this until I gave my life to the Lord. She would take me outside and the sunlight would hit me and in the midst of the trees she would ask God to be my father because my earthly father was not he was not around. And uh, little does my mom know that God had come to me. He encountered me in a dream and he came to me in the form of a tree. And I didn't even know this yet that my mom had dedicated me to the Lord. Um, in the midst of trees, she would take me outside and the sun would hit me. And she didn't know, I, I didn't know that that she had done that when I was born. She asked God to be my father. He oh, He was always my father. He always walked with me. And so he came to me in this dream in the form of a tree and I knew the father was coming and I just hugged this tree and there was so much love going from the tree to me and the the colors of the leaves were red, orange and yellow. They were like breathing fire. They were like living colors. It was so amazing. Like I'll never forget that. And I've always loved trees and there's just so many things. Like I've always loved languages and the Lord came to me in a dream one day and told me I need to study and learn other languages because I would be sent out to the nations. There's so many things. There's so, so many things. I mean, I can go on and on and I'm probably going past my time. But um, I just, I'm full of God stories. I'm full of testimonies because I constantly turn to the Lord. And when I say that I walk in an intimate relationship with, with Him, it's just, I, I always long for Him. I want to be with Him. I sing to Him. I love Him. I trust Him. I cry out to Him. And I'm not perfect by any means. Um, I'm still in process. But He is everything to me. And so I want to encourage you that um, God is faithful. 
And um, there's so many promises in his word and he's faithful to his promises. And I pray that you would be faithful to him, that you, we would learn to be loyal to him because he is faithful and he is loyal and he is not a respecter of persons, but he is so faithful. And I look forward to hopefully meeting you someday. And I dare you, girl, I dare you to be loyal to the Lord. Girl, I dare you to trust him with all of your heart. He is faithful. God bless you all.